Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. I am so excited to be filming today because I'm in a really uh, happy and good mood and stuff, and I have a few things that I want to talk about in today's video. Uh, first of all, happy Tuesday. I believe it is today, but I don't know when I will post this. I have my coffee and I made it a little bit different today. I put in a little bit of French vanilla coffee creamer and then a little bit of uh, coconut milk, which I I have never tried coconut milk before but I bought some recently uh, when we ordered our groceries this weekend and it is pretty good it tastes like a cookie like a coconut cookie kind of so I'm really loving that mm. And then other things that are making today a super, super awesome day is I just freshly dyed my hair yesterday, so we are a fresh blue. I even put in some old hair extensions. I dyed one of them that was purple and I just used my leftover dye. And then I also have a black one in there that was just already black. So it's been a while since I've worn hair extensions because they're all so old and gross and I haven't bought any in a long time, but I find whenever I freshly re-dye really old, like uh, not like just they're just they feel like horse hair but whenever I freshly dye them they kind of like get soft again like they're kind of reconditioned really excited about the hair and then today because uh, I was gonna film a YouTube video I got kind of dressed up I put on a ring this is a custom ring I got on Etsy and it says a loon adore ishnu Allah which is from world of Warcraft so I really love that and then I have a killstar choker on a killstar bralette killstar dress and killstar thigh highs also I have on on some crescent moon earrings as well to kind of match the Killstar necklace. So it's a whole vibe today, feeling good. I really hope that you guys are having a good day too. I wasn't even having that amazing of a day until I put all my energy into, you know, kind of being how I wanted to be today and the vibe that I wanted. And now I feel uh, on top of the moon. So that's amazing. Uh, today, pretty much the main focus is going to be about some books that I recently got from Half Price Books on Saturday. My husband and I went, we had kind of a little uh, date day. I mean, we always like to try to do stuff on the weekends, whether that just be going on a walk together or whatever, which is what we also did do. So, so basically today I want to talk about and show you all the books that I got and also just tell you about our Saturday because it was a lot of fun. So for the video, let's start with the exciting part where I can show you guys all of these books that I got, which are of course uh, witchcraft and Wicca books. I specifically wanted to go to Half Price Books to check them out because my last video that I did was about my first spell intention thing that I did and now I am fully ready to start learning more, even more than I have. Um, so I wanted to get some books so I can actually start reading. Uh, I've spent the last few years just kind of listening to podcasts and YouTube videos and researching online. And now that I feel like I am officially out of the broom closet, I was like, all right, I am ready to go and purchase some books. And really, I don't know, I just, I love books. I feel like they're super fun and everything. Love how all of them that I got are like really pretty colors. We got purple and green and black and more purple and some gold they're awesome. The first book that I got, I still have all the price tags on them. Uh, this was actually found in the actual section where they have like Wicca and like meditation stuff and tarot and astrology and all that kind of stuff. So this one was the most expensive one that I got. It was $8.49 and it is by Juliette Diaz and it is called Witchery Embrace the Witch Within. And I really like this one. I was looking for a while and trying to pick out like, you know, what's like the book I want to buy here because I didn't want to spend too much. And after looking through for about like 30 minutes, I was like, I really like the look of this one. It's really, really pretty on the inside as well. I like how a lot of it is like sectioned off. I think that they have some black pages in here too. Let me find one. Yeah, like the different sections have these like black pages that are really cool. Uh, this one on the back, it says, being a witch isn't about hocus pocus. It isn't about how you dress, how you decorate your altar, or what you post on social media. It's an embodiment of your truth, the answer to the questions from deep within your soul. There is work to be done, a call to be answered. The earth, our mother, needs us. It's time to rise. It's time to embrace the witch so I haven't actually started reading this one yet but I am really really excited because they have stuff about like spells that you can do and stuff about the moon phases and I just oh 
it's just really really cute like look at all those little cute designs and stuff honey jar spell for deep reflection what you need rosemary herb bundle or incense small piece of torn brown parcel paper and a pen full jar of honey and a teaspoon pinch of lovage root dried basil dried rose petals a strand of your hair a clipping of one of your nails or a drop of your menstrual blood holy shit that's going deep. So basically there is three more. That one, like I said, uh, was $8.49, kind of full price. And that's where I spent most of my time in the bookstore looking. And this was gonna be like the only thing that I was gonna buy. There was one other that I was debating. And then my husband came back because we like separated in the store. So he was looking at his own stuff. And I guess at some point he wandered over to the clearance section. And then he came back to me and he was like, I found some clearance books for you. And these were all like, this one was $3. This one was $3. Um, this one was $6, so still like kind of expensive, but not too bad. But this one is freaking amazing. It's a book about tarot cards. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that one in a second. But the first one, or the next one I wanted to tell you about was this one, which is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. I feel like a lot of people recommend this as like the first book that you should read. It's kind of like the one to start with and I've really been enjoying this one. It's the one that I've been like actively reading in the morning. I'm not like that far. I'm on page 18 right now but I've been you know spending like five or ten minutes uh, at my altar reading it and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's really resonating with me and I'm excited to get deeper into it. So I would definitely recommend this one. It seems really, really good. It's really attuning with me so far. And it's cool because it also smells like incense, like whoever last had this, it's heavily smelling like incense. So I think that that's really cool that it has like some history and stuff. So this one is awesome and I can't believe it was $3 and it was the only copy that my husband found. The next book is this tarot magic book and I am literally obsessed with this one. I usually when I do, so far I'm just at the point where I'm just drawing a daily tarot card. I don't necessarily do it every day but I try to pull a tarot card every day and usually I would just just Google what the meaning of it was and then like write it down. Uh, my tarot deck is not the uh, writer weight deck, the traditional one, so it's kind of hard for me to like use my intuition to kind of like guess what they could mean. My deck is by Ann Stokes, I believe, and a lot of the artwork it's like there's not really anything that I can like guess what the meaning is, so I usually would just Google it. But I didn't really like getting on my phone. It's like I'm trying to be with myself and at my all and then getting on my phone to Google it just felt kind of like intrusive. It's like I'm trying to not be on the internet right now. So I really, really love this book because I'm actually reading it because there's like introduction stuff to actually kind of help you understand tarot and its purpose. But then what's really, really cool is they actually have all of these pages where it talks about the meaning of each of the cards. It talks about its upright meaning, its reversed meaning, um, the ruling planet and zodiac sign the element yes or no um, some keywords for upright and reversed so this has been really awesome because now whatever tarot card I pull I can just go and find it in the book and this book has amazing artwork I am absolutely obsessed with the artwork it is so pretty I love it the tower I've definitely pulled the tower before so I'm finding this one to be extremely extremely helpful with tarot readings and stuff and I'm starting to understand more about like their purpose and how to actually use them and I'm really excited it has like tips on how to bond with your deck how to cleanse your deck um, and it even has questions that you can ask your deck like I think that they called this like an interview of your deck where you can like have a specific spread where you're kind of like learning about it. This is really, really cool. I'm obsessed with this one and I'm so glad I got it. And the last one, which I haven't started reading yet, but this was so cute. The fact that it's black and purple, you guys know, you can tell by my curtains, I love black and purple. I've pretty much always been the purple girl. The blue hair is kind of new for me, but this one looks super, super awesome. It's just called A Little Bit of Wicca, An Introduction to Witchcraft. And again, I absolutely just love the pages. It has kind of these like, uh, pastel purpley pink color to like separate the different sections of the book and oh 
solitary witchcraft, how to find a coven, forming or joining a coven, or walking solo. There's just so many cool things in here. Look at how cute this is. I'm obsessed. This stuff is right up my alley. I don't think I've ever felt this excited about a topic other than like World of Warcraft in my whole entire life. All right, so those are the four books that I got. Like I was saying right now, the two that I'm kind of actively reading is the Tarot one and then the Wicca Solitary Practitioner stuff by Scott Cunningham. And then these two I want to actually start reading soon as well. And I would like to get more of these books. But for now, I feel like this is a really, really good start. It only cost me like $21. So that wasn't too bad. Let us take a little coffee break. I probably need to go heat this up. It's still like kind of warm, but not really. I really want to get one of those like warmer things where you can like set it, uh, set your coffee on like this little like USB thing that like keeps it warm. That would be super, super helpful. Also, I just found this on the ground. I meant to put this on before I started filming because I love like perfumes and things that smell good. It like just makes the vibes so much nicer for like, you know, if I'm going to be on camera. I would like to feel my best. This one is awesome. It smells, it's called Midnight Cherry Vanilla. And it basically smells like vanilla cherry coke and it's amazing. So that's pretty much everything in terms of all the books that I got. Um, the next thing I wanted to do is just kind of tell you guys a bit more about my husband and I's little date day, which was pretty much, we like just hung out all day. We sleep in until usually like 11 a.m. or so and then we get up and we have our breakfast and we pretty much just hung out at home. I played World of Warcraft, posted a YouTube video, filmed some YouTube stuff and and we didn't go out until like 7 p.m. So it was really fun having like the whole day to just relax. And then we drove down to Half Price Books. We only spent like 40 minutes there. So we were kind of rushed because they were closing at 8 and we didn't leave till 7. So we didn't get there till like 7.20. But it was still awesome and I had enough time to find some stuff. And then we went to McDonald's. It was funny because we actually, we love McDonald's. McDonald's is the best. And when we were long distance, we used to have, you know, like maybe once a month, we would both go and and buy McDonald's and then we would play World of Warcraft together and send each other like pictures of our McDonald's and kind of feel like we're having a McDonald's date while we were long distance so going to McDonald's is still one of our favorite things that reminds us of our long distance times and so basically we ended up going to two different McDonald's so we finished up at the bookstore we went to the first one and then we got some food um, I wasn't that hungry so we just split a 10 piece uh, McNugget and we got sweet and sour sauce and honey I haven't dipped my nuggets in just honey in a long time and it's so good so that was amazing uh, then we split a large fry and he got a McDouble plain with only cheese I don't know why I'm giving you guys all the details but it's whatever and basically I have the McDonald's app on my phone which I only downloaded like I don't know maybe like three months ago and it's actually pretty amazing because they usually have it where you can get any size fry for a dollar so we usually go get like a large fry for one dollar which is freaking amazing uh, and then you get like points and stuff we got our food and then we just sat in the parking lot and ate it there and then our plan after that was to go on a nice little nature walk there's a super nice park where there's like ponds and lots of trees and flowers and little walking trails and there's usually like geese and ducks and sometimes even deer and we did actually see a deer we ate at mcdonald's first and then we drove to another mcdonald's that was actually like closer to where we were going to be going to walk and we got some mocha frappes we're like obsessed with the mcdonald's mocha frappes they're so good and i had enough points on the app to get a free large one we've done that twice now so that's pretty much the main reason why i love the app because the mocha frappes are pretty expensive Expensive. like they're not that bad but like they're kind of expensive so to be able to get like a free one every month or so is pretty awesome then we only have to like pay for one of them we both got our large mocha frappes and then we drove to the spot where we were gonna go walking around and we're all walking around with our little frappes and it was just so beautiful out it was like getting closer to like sunset time not like quite but it was like in the evening and it was super nice and it's cool because we haven't gone to this spot in like maybe I don't know like almost a year or something it's been a long time and the last time we went there I remember we did see like a family of deer but they were like kind of far away like hanging out in a field but this time a deer like just one deer was on the path like literally coming towards us so I pulled out my phone and it like came so close like it was like right there like I could reach out and touch it but I was like kind of afraid because I had like little antlers 
and I thought that it was like gonna attack us so I didn't actually pet it and I was kind of like oh shit is it gonna like freak out on us but it was really cool so we ran into a deer and there was like another family it was like a mom a dad and their son who was like a teenager and they kind of saw it all happening and they were kind of like oh shit because like I don't know you could get attacked by a deer I mean probably not likely but they were kind of like oh shit because it was like sort of running towards us like trotting quickly ish and then it went around us uh, through the forest which you can kind of see on my little video and then it started running up towards the family like full speed and they were kind of like oh shit um, but then it left us all alone but we like ran into that family again like two other times so it was just like funny and they were like asking us about the deer and I was like yeah no it like it was just checking us out and saying hi and then we kept walking around because you can kind of like keep going in loops or down other paths and we ran into the deer again we were like oh my god it was like right there and we were like oh shit are we gonna die to a deer is it gonna bite us is it disease like what's going on but it was so cute and so beautiful and um, then we just kind of managed to walk past it and it kind of ran off into the forest and then we saw the family again and we were like we ran into the deer again and they were like lol and then also there was another spot where we got to see the great blue heron which was so cool because there was literally a sign like you know those nature signs on walks where it like says the different kind of animals you could see and in the middle of the sign it was like oh if you're lucky you'll see the great blue heron and it was like right there like there was the sign and then there was it the sign it it was crazy so we had a really fun little nature walk we got to see some animals up close and personal it was amazing i wish that i filmed more but i was really just trying to enjoy it and be in the moment um i even kind of wish that i filmed while i was in the bookstore but like i said we only had like 40 minutes there we were kind of rushed because they were closing soon so didn't get any footage or anything so that is my random vlog video for the day basically just sharing with you uh the books that i got and how my saturday was i hope that you guys had a really awesome weekend and that you're having a good week and everything let me know anything fun that you've done or just any plans that you have anything about your life i'm actually genuinely curious what are you guys up to going to as long or as much detail or as little detail as you want in the comments i find it really interesting to learn about what you guys are doing in your life uh anyways this was really random i'm gonna go now hope that you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye